The fuck is going on, you fucks? What up? It is me. It is I. I am him. It is Space Cadet, and you are now tuned into the Spaced Out Podcast. Welcome to the spaceship. It is in the Struggle Compound here at the Struggle Cartel. You can do anything the fuck you want, respectfully. You have to be respectful. But studio here, uh, there's some art you could buy. You could buy freaking Struggle Cartel. Where you could buy family trappers wear, um, you could get photography, you could get your hair done, your lashes done, you could get dental um, work, you could get some grills made, you could get t-shirts made, all that jazz. So stop in here at the Struggle Compound, it's the best place. It is at 2400 Seneca Street, suite number 4 in South Buffalo, right behind Burger King on Seneca Street. Uh, today, folks, today we have the one, the only, Brother Nature in the building. What's going on, Brother Nature? Up, How are you doing today? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How was that performance at Jack Rabbit? This uh, Was it last weekend or this weekend? It was last Friday. Last on Friday. The 12th. Yeah, that was dope, man. During the snowstorm, too, still, it was right? just before the snowstorm. So, That's... like, it was raining for a couple minutes before the show. I was kind of worried about it because snow was coming down in like Lancaster and all that I heard. So a couple people didn't come out from <laughs> Lancaster, but uh, the snow hit the next day. Yeah. So we were clear all night. It was dope. Yeah, the next day yeah. for the city, not for Lancaster. Yeah, not for Lancaster, wow. for yeah. the city. It hurts. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It started early for you. But uh, yeah, no, it was a good show, man. We had like the live band going. Um, it's uh, Peace Co. played for me. So that's actually Grub who I just told you about, mm -hmm. that's their old lineup with their old drummer. Okay. So it's uh, Zach Tilton, Nick Woodcock, and Chris Brandon. So they ended up playing for me uh, for the show, and that was pretty dope. But before that, I uh, released my EP, No Fear, the day after Christmas on uh, December 26th. So that's me and my boy 99 Stealth. Um, it's my boy Jimbo. So he's from Niagara Falls as well, just like me. I've known him for a long time, met him through my little brother like eight or nine years ago maybe 10 years ago 12 i don't even know it was a long time ago and uh we kind of like uh we were disc golfing a couple of years ago we kind of figured out we both do music so we wanted to uh put something out for everybody so it's that's that whole album's produced by him the ep no fear okay so we played that before the the band came out so i had like two sets so, so you did that, you performed that song too, the whole EP? Uh, yeah, I performed the whole EP front to back, and then uh, when that was done, the band came out. But 99 Stealth also did his own bass music set, because yeah. he's like a bass music artist. And then uh, Peace Co. did a set when we were done with our stuff. Holy so, shit, that's fire. Yeah. That's dope as fuck. And where was that at? That was at Jack Rabbit. Jack Rabbit. Yeah. I like that place too. They're yeah, nice. still. I've tailgated with them before. Oh yeah, they're 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 cool people, man. Yeah. Yeah, there's levels to it too. There's like the downstairs, there's the upstairs, there's the back, the back bar, the front bar. Yeah. So they got something cool going on there. We do got those fucking like bars that are like, like extra fucking extendedly big. Like we do secret rooms. Like right. Doc Sullivan's has that whole fucking like room that they you just can fucking open the doors and turn the lights on and it makes them fucking way bigger right and you're like what the fuck i know it's just the old architecture around here man yeah yeah you know especially like that downtown south buffalo area like, yep yep like yeah it's just like oh holy fuck these bars are still standing i know but what's your favorite bar my favorite bar yeah so to play at uh i do a lot of stuff at gypsy parlor okay yeah, so... Um, I see they do a lot of um, 
live music like they've been doing a lot of live music. yeah yeah they do like a lot of djs a lot of like raves stuff like that oh, yeah, but yeah. then they also have like an open mic on wednesdays um but i'll try and play there like try and set up a couple shows a year there like two shows a year there yeah yeah i try and get on like, like as many shows as i can if anybody, anybody wants me you know what i mean like hit me up um but i try and like put out or put a couple shows like on myself a year you know what i mean yeah. on top of like all the music that i'm working on and my full-time job outside of music yeah and uh you know just trying to do it all man <laughs> you know how long have you been doing music for so i've been drumming for uh for 24 years i've been a drummer okay um i started on trumpet when i was like seven and then kind of got I in, played trumpet too. did you yeah yeah, yeah yeah i got into drums around like nine years old and um i got my first drum set when i was like 12 or 13 and i've been in multiple bands i've been in like hardcore bands instrumental bands folk bands um i'm actually in a band right now called sways s-w-a-y-s sways yeah, yeah yeah um we uh it's like psychedelic progressive rock um i like what we do a lot we've been a band for eight years now um but i've been rapping uh like seriously rapping for about three years now just over three years now so i started at like 29 yeah. 33 now so that's dope yeah you just like it so what what do you think inspired your love for music Inspired my love for music. Yeah, like what do you, like you, like who was it that was like buying you all these instruments and like? So, my mom wanted to get me into a bunch of different stuff. You know, I was yeah. in karate, um, music. I was in Boy Scouts. Uh, everything you could, all the sports. I played every single sport for at least one year growing up. You know, but music is the only thing that really stuck. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, I think, like, naturally, man, the rhythm's just always there, you know, and as a drummer, like, it was just, like, meant to be. Yeah. You just kind of got to hop on the rhythm, man. So, like, once I did that, it's like you get the itch. You don't ever want to get off, you know? Yeah. So, so I've been, you know, just uh, slowly, you know, to listen to music my whole life, dude, and build my catalog recently, and I don't plan on stopping, so... You know? Well, that's dope. And shout yeah. out to your mom. Yeah, for sure. Dude, because that's like that the fact that she pushed, not even pushed you, she gave you opportunities. Oh, she like, did. She put you in all these different things. Right. And exactly what I want to do for my kids is like, dude, you can do all these things and find what you like. If right. If you don't like it, fuck it, we're out. Right. Like, if you're like, fuck this shit, I'm like, I'm fuck this shit then. Yeah, no, you exactly. You tried, but, yeah. like, you got to give it an effort. It's not like I'm going to let you quit through the middle of the season. Like, you got to finish it. Yeah, no, for sure. But, no, yeah, no doubt. And then you, at the end, you're like, I don't like it. But, like, all right, we won't do that. Let's go try this now. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. playing every sport? Fuck yeah, I played, like, it. every single sport, man, growing up. Exactly. But, yeah, I mean, dude, she was, like, a super hard worker, too. So she was working three jobs and going to college like to support me you yeah. know and support the family um she met my stepdad when i was young three they're still together you know what i mean so we had uh we had her um just ba or him rather um in the picture too but she and he actually he's from mexico so he came from mexico um and built up his own refrigeration business so like my parents grind, man. You yeah. Know what I mean, they grind. So, like, that's kind of where I get that from. I don't ever want to stop doing what I'm doing because I'm, like, my, I got the passion in it, my heart's in it, and, you know, just keep it going. What the fuck made them come? Yo, I always <laughs> wonder this. What the fuck makes, like, even Puerto Ricans, like, what makes you come to Buffalo, New York? Like, where it's cold? Yeah. Like, yeah. Think about that shit. Like, yeah. That man came from Mexico. Like, he did, I know, I know. Could have been fucking nice and warm in Mexico. Like, I hear you, man. America was, you know, the land of opportunity back yeah, when, yeah. when he came up here. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's why they do it. But, you know, I'm, I put my time in over here. I'm trying to go to Mexico now. Yeah. <laughs> you know? For real. Yeah, I'm cold. I'm trying to go on one of your resorts. 
Yeah, right. Most many resorts and just lay there on the beach for right, hours. Right, right. Come I back know. looking like a lobster. Like, exactly, exactly, fuck man. This shit. Where do you think I got the name from? Matthew Lobster, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Getting sunburned. So let's talk about the name Brother Nature. You yeah. said you meditated the name. Yeah, yeah. So basically, I, um, when I, at 29, I started writing some, some songs. And, uh, you know, I'm like, I can actually do this shit. You know what I mean? Like, um, I've always kind of, it's always been like inside me, you know what I mean? This, this like hip hop shit, but, uh, I wanted to actually pursue it because it just felt right. It felt like aligned with what I was doing. Um, and my, I was saying my Instagram handle's name is Matthew Lobster. There's only really one Matthew Lobster on Instagram. So I tell people that, they find me right away. Yeah. Brother Nature, there's a couple more Brother Natures. There's, there's a Brother Nature on YouTube that like hangs out with deer and animals and shit. He's not like a, I don't think he's a musician. I think so, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, if you look him up on YouTube. I think I fucking scrolled past this kid before. Yeah, he's got like, over a million followers, you know what I mean? So if you type in Brother Nature, he usually comes up first. Um, but Brother Nature, the name, like you were saying, uh, really does just attract the right crowd and like the right people. You know, the people that really are looking for like an al alternative to like all the mainstream, uh, not just music, but just like the way of life, man. You know what I mean? Um, so. And I think Brother Nature looks better on a flyer as well. Um, but I did meditate on it for like several weeks to see like what my official name should be. And I stuck with Brother Nature. So. Looks fire. Yeah. I like the name. Thank you, man. So, any um, influences in the way that you rap, like, or yeah. who you listen to? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I grew up like on a lot of the old school stuff. Uh, the Far Side was like my main group that I was listening to like when I was a kid, um, nine, ten years old. Like they came out with uh, um, the Bizarre Ride to the Far Side. I think it was like '92, um, and then Lab Cab in California came out in '95. Uh, I don't know how, how old you are. I'm 33, so I was young. I'm when 34, I was, but I don't 34. know. I don't know who they are. Yeah, the Far Side. Yeah, she nah. keeps on passing me by. She keeps on passing me oh, yeah. by. I bet you play that shit for you. You'll know. You'll that. know. Yeah, yeah. I probably will. Yeah, that's like, uh. I like just so when I listen, it's like as a kid when I was listening, it wasn't who is the like type thing it was like you're saying the far side like any group like anyone it wasn't like i'm not gonna re i didn't remember who they were it was oh wait for that song to come back on the fucking radio record it so i can have it on a bunch of fucking all right like tapes right like i wasn't remembering who anyone was until limewire came out oh yeah once limewire came out it was like who's that artist change the game and then I started doing all of that. So, like, it's like, once I hear this name of the, the people, like, and someone brings a group back up to me, and I'm yeah. like, oh, that's who they were? And then that's when I get back into it, and it's like, oh, I listened to this song, and it'll bring back, you know, when you hear songs, and it brings back memories in life or shit like yeah, that? Yeah, I do. And I'll literally go back into a whole fucking memory, and it'll be like, like, last night, Delilah came on. As soon as it went... I was driving and it went, Delilah. <laughs> yo, it was like I was just chilling there and putting the radio on for my dad as a kid. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like nostalgic. It like yeah. literally like it like brings you back. It's crazy for, for a moment. The fucking radio. Yeah, right. Like I know. it was literally I was literally like six, seven years old, fucking turning the radio on and it goes, Delilah. Like this chick was probably like twenty four years old. Fucking on the radio, fucking killing it. Yeah. You listen to Delilah? No? I feel like Delilah to me is like that all, like a song, not a. 
You're thinking of that song, yeah, that, song that Hey There Delilah. Yeah, 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 no, 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 bro. Same at all. Bro. You know, you don't know who fucking Delilah is? I mean, again, this could be one of those scenarios where you start playing it for me and I'm like, oh, Like, no, man. she's on the radio and you, like, at You gotta night. bust out LimeWire right now, man. Yeah. yeah. No. So, you, so you, you turn on fucking the radio, it's like, I don't know, like 96.1 and it'll be like late at night, like 8 o'clock and beyond. I'm going to Google this shit. Not like 7 and beyond, but like when I was a kid, it was like 8 o'clock and beyond. Mm -hmm. And she'd come on the radio and it'd go, as soon as it comes on, it'd go, Delilah. And then you'd be like, and then she'd be like, hi, guys. It's, it's, a, it's, it's her jingle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her jingle yeah. comes on and she'd be like, hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Delilah. And uh, today we're going to have a blah, blah. And she'll just start, start talking all so soft and like, elegant and you just be like you would just like get so relaxed and then she'll put on a fucking song and she'll be like this song is for you guys and it'll come on and you'll be like yo come on like she's the one of the, i feel like my one of my favorite fucking radio hosts in yeah. the fucking world is delilah oh so it's a radio host yeah she's a radio host um, <laughs> bro, bro. Bro, come on yo type in type in on your phone Sit down and type in on your phone, Delilah, radio host. She has her own fucking dot com and everything. I'll check it out. Her own phone number, all that. I love that chick. I'm like, yo. Hell yeah. Yo, she made me fall in, like, in love with the fucking radio. That shit was raw. Like, there's nothing better than fucking being able to, like, she took people there to a point where, like, you can relax and fall asleep or relax and just like mellow out for the day right you know who she is uh, no I, I i actually i do remember her i remember her well, voice yeah i do remember it yeah, from, like from like when i was a kid i, I haven't like, listened i haven't like heard it bro it's recently crazy. she's still on and she yeah. still sounds the exact same yeah and i'm like yo she didn't get no crack in her voice like she got older it's like well, it's because she's doing what she fuck. loves man you know you stay young forever that way you know she's probably just sitting there like ah yeah. Hey, baby. Right. <laughs> sure, that helps. Her, like, that's the f person who made me fall in love with the radio. It's yeah. Like, yo. Yeah. I also know. grew up listening to, uh, like, Diggable Planets. You know who they are? They, yeah, were, they, yeah. they were just here. I do know who yeah. those are. Tribe Called Quest. So, like, that's, like, my main, like, style and influence. Um, yeah. Out West, the Living Legends. I don't know if you know who those guys are. No. Eli the Grouch. Murs, Sunspot Jones, Sunspot Jones got his hat on right now. No. So they're like underground hip hop shit, you know what I mean? So yeah, straight yeah. from the heart, you know what I mean? That's why, it, that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll I'll look them up because I yeah. like finding new artists. Like I like it. Like that's that's the point of music. I feel like. Oh, it is. Discovering new shit. Yeah. Makes you feel some kind of the way. The rabbit yeah. hole. The rabbit hole is the best thing in the world. Like when you're in fucking Spotify mm -hmm. and you get out of the playlist. Yeah. Like after you listen to a whole playlist and it jumps into a something else and you're like, yo, who the fuck is this? What the fuck is playing right now? Yeah, because it, su it like you know, suggests stuff for yeah, you. Yeah, I don't use Spotify. I use Apple Music. Yeah. But I heard that's a good feature on Spotify. Dude, Apple does it, just not as well, I don't think. Dude, Spotify just... I feel like they just have a better mix-up of the music. Yeah. It's not just like you can get albums and playlists. Mm -hmm. And like Apple, it's like albums and radio stations. Right. Or create your own playlist. Right. And it's like, no, 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 no. We yeah. want whole tape, mixtapes available on YouTube Music. Not Spotify music, not Apple music, YouTube music. Thank YouTube, you, YouTube music. YouTube music. <laughs> You're amazing. YouTube, thanks for not fucking kicking us off. We love you. Yo, I'm surprised, bro. <laughs> the, all the shit I fucking said. Like, they're probably like, oh, well, when it gets over fucking a thousand views or more, we'll kick it off of here. Right. Like, right now, you got hundreds of views. You're all right. Keep it. You keep it. Like, oh, no, make short of those parts.
I like YouTube, man. I use YouTube a lot. Yeah? Yeah, I don't pay for it, but I use it. Yeah, I don't pay yeah. for it either. Yeah. That's all I use. Like, I sit there, that's the rabbit hole. Like, I'll find, it is. like, instrumentals. Like, you'll click one, and then, like, you'll let them play and play, and then all of a sudden you're just like, yo, play that one back. Play that back again. It's the, the OG, oh. the OG internet rabbit hole. Yeah. And Either that or E-bombs, uh, E-bombs world. And then you're like, you look at it, you look at it and you're like, yo, this person only got fucking five subscribers and fucking three listens. Yeah, like, well, right. This shit is going to blow yeah, up. Yeah, you're right. Like, but I never get to go back and find out. I've been fucking artists. I've been taking pictures of theirs. Like, oh, like their pages? Artists, yeah. Like, their Spotify listeners, I've mm -hmm. been taking pictures of it. And like seeing like in a year, the like growth. I can guarantee you in a year this person's gonna have fucking twenty thousand more listeners or more. Yeah. And just to see, and it's like oh, because when they post it themselves, you're like, hmm. But I want to see like last year's too. Right. Yeah. And the year before. Right. So you can get like, the whole body of work. Yeah. And, and see like, see uh, their growth over the years. That man, shit you know? is dope. Yeah. To see it recently, today I seen it. Did you see it today? YouTube? No. Go to YouTube Studios. The growth is amazing. I like YouTube. I feel like it's a great platform. Yeah. Like, my fucking 10-year-old, 11-year-old would get the shit beat out. I would get the shit beat out of me right. by a fucking monkey that's, uh, the, and it's the size of my one-year-old. Yeah. And it's like, yo, those monkeys will beat the fuck out of you. Like, my girl was like, how strong? I was like, yo, those things, I probably, like, like, pick up, like, they're, like, his size and probably can pick up, like, 50 pounds and shit like that. Yeah, man. They can just drag out a 50-pound thing. They won't probably be able to bring it over their head, but they can drag that shit. Yeah. Like, fuck that. I would not go after one of those. You better start training. Yeah, yeah. You know, just in case. Yeah, fuck <laughs> Yo, monkeys are going to fucking come after us. Some fucking Planet of the Apes shit. You believe in that? You, know, you believe in aliens? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. We're aliens, man. You know what I mean? Yep, we are some other fucking yeah. species out there. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, like, in general, like, if there was another world out there that had, yeah, exactly. you know, life, we're aliens to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're working on getting further out into space ourselves. It's the same thing. I think we're far behind some civilizations, but, you know. Probably, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. They're out there fucking watching us from fucking a spaceship that you can't even see. Yeah. Or they're probably watching us just from their world. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's At home. Yeah, right. Fucking watching us right through the TVs. Yeah. Fucking. You probably don't even need TVs, man. It's, it's probably all in their, Yo, in their head. Like, you just know like what I mean? Fucking yeah, seriously. Seeing <laughs> us, bro. <laughs> they're just sitting there like, oh, watch this show right now. Yeah. Open their eyes. Oh, the new show? <laughs> That would be fucking crazy. What other kind? What else kind of music do you listen to? So I mean, mostly, mostly it's like hip hop's like my jam. You know what yeah. I mean? I I like listening to like jam music though, like Lotus. It's like like electronic jam band kind mm -hmm. of stuff. I I go to like those festivals and shows a lot. Humphreys McGee, because um, I think they know how to throw the best parties, man. Those people can party. So and I don't really party anymore these days, man. I'm like I said, I'm 33. Like, I I smoke. I don't really drink that much. I'll do some mushrooms once in a while, but like, nah, for the most part, I'm chilling. You know what I mean? I love mushrooms. Yeah, but I like I like a good environment. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, I like yeah. going out in a good environment. I can't like, do it right now. It's too cold. Yeah, I I agree. I I actually went out a lot last night, but yeah, normally in the winter I'm kind of like down down. I also work outdoors with my job. So I'm literally outdoors Fuck all year, that. which sucks. What do you do? I'm a UPS driver. So I've been there 15 years. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, at least you get to hop back in the car. And yeah, like for... Warm up. For like 20, 10 seconds. 25 seconds, yeah, to the next stop. <laughs> you know? But it is nice. It's not, not like I'm a mailman out there walking in it, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, yo, I've always wanted to be the mailman that gets to drive up to them, all the mailboxes. Yeah, right, and just... Toss them in. Yeah, toss it in the mailbox. Yeah. yeah. Like in like Springville or something, like you're just like. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I hear those are those are like the, the highly coveted routes, though the ones yeah, that you yeah. don't gotta get out and walk. Yeah, yeah. So if, if you got a job at the at the post office tomorrow, they you bet your ass they put you like near like an apartment complex where you outside walking, delivering, you know, yeah. 400, 400 stops or some shit. Yeah, yeah. You know? Those, gotta, those are the tenures. You gotta be there 20 years to yeah. get over there. Yeah, right. Well, I've, I've been at UPS 15 years and I still got a shit route too, you know what I mean? They really make you earn it. Christmas has gotta be fucking, whew. Yeah, so it used to be, but this year really wasn't that bad. And since Amazon's been like delivering their own shit with, out of their own trucks the last like four or five years, um, it's like kind of lessened our, vol our volume, you know, but um, they still keep us busy as individuals. Yeah. So, but I only, I only do that to like fund my, my life. Yeah. You know, I don't like work to live, you know what I mean? Well, I do work to live, you know what I mean? Not the other way around, you know, yeah. I don't like my, my job isn't my life, you know, right. this music shit's my life. So kind of just like reinvesting that money in my, in my art. You That's know, what it should be. Yeah, and just trying to, to do. Trying to ascend, man. Yeah. You know? And then you said you're in a like the a band too, right? Yeah, I play drums in Sways, like a psychedelic yeah, yeah, yeah. progressive band. So we have we're working on our second full length album right now. That's um, fire. Yeah, we our first one came out in twenty nineteen, so it came out a little while ago. Yeah. Um so but we're like we we've put like no pressure on ourselves. In that band, uh, we've played a ton of shows. We we have quite a bit of music out. Got a couple e a couple singles out, an EP and a full length. Um, and we're working on that next full length right now. That'll be out this year sometime. But uh, love those guys, man. You know, like it's it's uh, us four four guys: uh, bass, guitar. There's two guitars, and then I, I play drums. Um, but really good chemistry, really good dynamic between us all, and the music's chill. It's dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you would like it, man. I'll definitely put you on no, the app yeah, before yeah, the for day, Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because I, I like, like, fucking all music. Yeah. I love EDM. Yeah. So. I love, I like EDM too, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't, I don't listen to a lot of it, but that's another like lot. My homie Scafetta plays at the Gypsy Parlor. Yeah, I know who he is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, I, uh, EDM music, they put on really good parties too. That's, a good, yeah, that's yeah. another good environment. Yep. You know what I mean? To go just chill at, you know, and yeah, for sure. And vibe out and enjoy yourself. I just wish there was a place that had like clean, like where they change like the couches and everything every night. Oh yeah, just gotta, just gotta, yeah. Like, fucking like. No, I hear you. Because sometimes you just need to like listen to the music and just be like. Yeah, and just zone out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be out. Like, yeah, I hear I'm you. I'm still here, but I'm not here. Like, right. Let the music take me. Yeah. That's yeah. why I like festivals, because it was like, I'm in the middle of the grass tripping balls. Right, man. Just put a hammock up and lay in a hammock and yeah. just float Hold away. The hammock right over Yeah, there. right. Float away, man. Just gone. Yeah. I like festivals too. And those fucking, uh, those fucking big ass fucking chairs that you fill up with the fucking the air you haven't seen them yeah those little like I those forgot what inflatable the they're kind of, like they're not inflatable couches but you kind of yeah, yeah basically yeah. They but are. you like run it's, and you it's fucking a, it's fill a pouch. it up it's like a pouch yeah everyone's running in the festival like yeah trying to fill it up with air and then they get it and then i i, I went to a disc jam in 2018 and there was like 20 of us that went and uh we had one of those chairs at our campsite and everybody was out all day and I was out all night man like I was like out at the silent disco I was like getting back to the to our campsite at like seven in the morning and I would just pass out on that on that inflatable hammock or whatever the hell it is yeah um, and uh everybody would wake up and they'd go do something I'd be like passed out all day I didn't see anybody and then I'd get up they were all gone and I would go out I wouldn't see them they'd come back but I was still out so we, we like missed each other <laughs> the whole festival <laughs> But I remember, like, like I didn't even use my tent. I was sleeping in that thing every night. Yeah. You know, yeah, so. I fuck with those things. Yeah. Those things are comfortable as fuck. They are, man. I was stuck in that thing for, like, an hour, two hours, melted. Then I got hungry. Yeah. But then that's what I think sucks about festivals is some of the food. Yeah. When I went to, the food was just, like, I was like, this is not it. Where where would you go? Which Dance festival? Festopia. Okay, I never heard of that one. I think I went one. in 2018, too. Okay. It was fire, but it was yeah. just like the food wasn't it. 
Yeah. But we're from Buffalo. We got great We're food. spoiled around yeah. here, man. I know. Yeah. What's your favorite spot to eat at? Uh, I like Indian food, man. So in Niagara Falls, there's this place called Zyka. Okay. And I, I've been to at 30 plus Indian restaurants just like in the area, you know what I mean, between Buffalo and Niagara Falls. That one's hands down the best, best Indian food. Okay. Yeah, okay. Zyka. I want to try some Indian food. I tried yeah. it one time. Yeah, it that's it. Decent. Yeah. Yeah. So Zyka has a. So they're actually closed right now. It's off season for them. Yeah. But like in Niagara Falls, the on season is like tourist season. They have a, a buffet every day. It's like twenty bucks, all you can eat, and the food's fire. And it, like for someone like you who hasn't really tried a lot, it's nice to have the buffet because you can try it all. Yeah. You know what I mean. You can try to see what you like. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of good dishes, man. A lot of like super flavorful dishes. So. So this know. is their off season, okay? Yeah. What well, other spots yeah. do you like in fucking Niagara Falls? Like, uh, for food? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like pho. So like, uh, there's this place called Pho Golden yeah. on Pine Ave. It's Vietnamese. Yeah. So you like the Vietnamese soup and all that, and they have like you know super their menus like huge too you can get whatever you want there but that place they've been there for a while and uh i've been i like frequent that place a lot too you know yeah 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 oh, so yeah, yeah I, i've been trying to like eat better you know so yeah. like uh recently i'm, I'm a fat ass bro. yeah dude so i i was too for a long time man it like started to like rear itself in ugly ways the, uh, casino, the casino lost a customer because their buffet is trash now. Their buffet is trash now. It used to be really good. Yo, it used to be yeah, fucking phenomenal. I know, I know. I was crying. Like 10 years ago? Yo, yo no, plus. like right before COVID. Oh, okay, even before COVID. Right before yeah. COVID, it was fucking delicious. And then fucking COVID hit, and then they fucking closed down their buffets. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Excuse me. Then they closed down their buffets and fucking... They fucking just suck now. Well, dude, they it, reopened. It's, it's not just them, man. A lot of the, a lot of these places, a lot of businesses, like after COVID, everyone's trying to like save money now because everything's so expensive. So I feel like the quality everywhere has like taken a huge dip. Remember how good Muddy Taco used to be, dude? Long time ago. Yo, long fucking, in, high, in high school. They're fucking, um, <laughs> you know, empanadas. Their empanadas yeah. changed. Yeah, the, right. The a lot of things changed, man. Fucked you know? them. Yeah. I haven't gone to fucking Mighty Taco just because of that reason. Yeah, yeah. I don't want. I don't mean to shit on Mighty Taco, but you, you know, know where I like, go? Yeah, I go to Griffin's uh, Irish Pub. Okay, like the Griffin Gastro Pub? No, no, no. Griffin's Irish Pub oh. on, on Abbott Road. Okay, I haven't been to that. Bro, phenomenal okay. food. Okay. Make sure you guys go stop there. I'm gonna have to stop there now, <laughs> for sure. Pause. Cut. You like that plug? Yeah, I did. <laughs> that was a good one. I was yeah, like, yeah. yeah. All right. So, so folks, you know, chatted it up with freaking Brother Nature today. We had a great time. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to get uh, out to your fans or people to get to know you more? Yeah, so I got a lot of music coming out this year. Um, I'm working on my full-length album with Kimono Fox. Um that's my boy who's in Grub, and he's in Sways, my band, too. Okay. And he's my roommate, so, like, we've been friends forever. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so the chemistry is going to be fucking dope. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, it, it already is. That, that album's, uh, I got, like, three songs left to write. Like, I already got it, like, mapped out. I got some really cool features on that. I've been working with some guys um, in uh, California and Los Angeles um, from Lab Cabin Records. Okay. Um, my boy, uh, Sea of Ash the Grouch, and my boy, Skit. Um, and RBX, you know who RBX is? I do not. Yeah, it's um, so he, if you look at um, Dr. Dre's The Chronic, you know that like legendary album? Yeah. He's got credits on that album. So, oh, yeah. yeah, so he's, he's working with those guys in Lab Cabin. And uh, I did a single called Who We Are that I released in November that's on my EP No Fear with 99 Stealth that you guys can stream everywhere. Um, so, Skit is on that on that EP as well. So he's on that song that I released, which is also on the EP, No Fear. So fire verse, fire dudes, super, super chill guys. Happy to be working with them. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have uh, Stinlo on the on the new album. I don't, I don't know if you know who Stinlo is. She's I out of Buffalo. Yeah, she's great. I know I know people that watch this know who she is. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So you're putting me on. So. Yeah, yeah. I'll be putting you on to a lot a lot of yeah, shit, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. It's all I like about to fucking find new people too. Oh yeah, man. Especially yeah. here because yeah. we got so much great talent in Buffalo. Dude, we really do. Buffalo is like, uh, like just like littered with talent and just like good vibes and like I've been all around the country just for like vacations and just like you know just traveling shit like that um what we have here is really special between the food and the music culture you know yeah. what I mean like um you know Buffalo Flow Jam on Monday nights fuck yeah yeah right so I've played I think I've I met you way before everything you've gone to like uh Flow Jam and like before Luna Lounge was Luna Lounge yeah. You went to, what the hell was it, the Owl House? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was there. Yeah, yeah I think I, I met you there. I before. don't know if I played, I no, didn't no, no, play I, at the Owl House. It was just like partying. Yeah, right. Because I was chilling with, um, fuck, Chiz. Yeah, okay, I've known Chiz forever. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, I've known Chiz forever. So, um. Fucking shout out Mystic <laughs> Angel. Yeah, Go stream hell yeah. some fucking Mystic Angel right now. For sure. Yo, 100%. Shit, yo, I, I love know. his fucking vibes yeah. and his music is just like, oh, like if he didn't fucking put music out, like, dude, he's a, I'd be sad. He's a good dude, man. Yo, he's yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah, he radiates like love and positivity. Yeah. You know what I mean? We need more of that, for sure. For sure. But uh, with Flow Jam, I played two years ago and then I played last year. I'm going to play again this year with the band, though. So um, we're probably going to run back this like a similar show to what we just did at Jackrabbit at Flow Jam this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but um, like that's just just something special in the community that like a lot of places don't have, man. The, the closest thing to that that I found was um, Ocean Beach in California, in San Diego. They do like a drum circle and like a fire spinning circle, like right next to each other on Wednesday nights, and that like rivaled our flow jam. But anywhere else, I haven't seen anything like what we do. Yo, I you just know? posted on his status that <clears throat> I think that you should do a winter flow jam. They they actually are what? doing some indoor flow jam stuff. No, no, I meant outside. Like, oh, yeah. How dope would that be to, like, like if someone went down there, shoveled out where they would do their thing so yeah. they're not slipping and falling, right. and it's down to the pavement so they can still burn, but the snow surrounding and people just, like... That would look super dope. It would fire, look fucking dope. With the fire and the fuck. ice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that would look and cool. And the, the background of Delaware Park looking like with all the snow on it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Shit would look dope. I'm going to have to pitch that idea to these guys Yo, when I talk to them next. That shit would yeah. be so dope. I know. But yeah, they do it at Luna Lounge indoor. Yeah, they do They, they do uh, all winter. I don't know if it's, I think it's on Mondays too. They, yeah, they just, I think they so. They just continue yeah, Mondays shout out at Luna, Luna Lounge. Shout out to Luna Lounge. I've known Johnny for forever. Actually, he was like my first friend. Johnny yeah. was, yeah, yeah. His mom and my mom grew up together in the falls, so like, I know him and his twin brother pretty well. Yeah, yeah. So they're those, fucking, those are dope. They're fucking dope over there. I it's agree. a dope place to have fucking events too. I know. They have fucking three fucking different rooms in there. Rooms. I know. I'll be in there eventually. Hopefully this year. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully this year sometime. I got a lot. I, I got a lot of shows. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna be applying to a lot of festivals. I'm doing Gypsy Parlor. Um, Sometime in April or May, I'm look keep a, keep an eye out for that because we're still trying to find the right date for that. Yeah. Um, but I'll be doing like a like a hip hop night there, so at Gypsy, so I'll definitely tap in when I yeah when I uh, announce that. Oh yeah, you that's know? gonna be fire. Yeah, no doubt. And um, what song do you think everyone should go listen to right now? Of mine. Yeah. Um, I think everyone should go listen to Who We Are featuring Skit. 99 Stealth on my new on my new EP No Fear. It's called Who We Are. Um, that one is I think it's it's one of one, some of my best work I think. And then his verse is fire as well. It's a it's a it's a good uh, it's just a good vibe overall. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, oh yeah. But I got tons of music. I got about I think I got like 17 or 18 songs out right now. But yeah. I, I got another shit at least 15 coming out this year. You know, that's dope. Yeah, so. you never know. You can get on features and all. Oh, that. I, yeah. I'm not even including those. I got yeah. some, I got some of those in the works too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's I, dope. Yeah. So. And where can they find you at? 
Uh, find me on Instagram at Matthew Lobster. Um, all my work is on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube. It's on all that. Just type in Brother Nature, uh, No Fear, or Brother Nature, Summer Days with a, with a Z, Summer Days with a Z. That's my, my newest single I put out in, in last April. Okay. Um, so, yeah, just uh, you guys, it's, I'm not hard to find, at Matthew Lobster. Just hit me up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right. I don't bite. <laughs> and we're going to the zero gravity. Let's get it. Thank mm -hmm. you.